Hey guys, if you haven't already, give the video a like. Subscribe to my channel. This is a What If series, and I'll be doing more down the road. So stay tuned and thanks for watching. Hey guys, and welcome to What If Deku Had the Renegade. God. So this is one of those stories that I've really wanted to touch up on and really wanted to talk about. Let's get into it. So what if Deku had the Renegade? God? So we're going to start off with Izuku. He's going to the doctor. He's happy and everything. And the doctors notice that as soon as they start to do a checkup on Izuku, his eyes, his eyes suddenly change. Due, due to the fact that Izuku is excited, he wants to know if he has a quirk. But it, like his eyes have changed and they're like these purple eyes. They don't have the tomoe that you see here yet. But that's it further in the story. So... They, he have these purple eyes, so the doctor thought that this would be related to his quirk, as they were soon to find out that Izuku, he doesn't have a quirk. But Izuku has something very rare. In this world, there are specific beings that have chakra. And yes, I'm implementing chakra into this world. So there are these specific beings in this world that have chakra and while only some of them have access to it and know how to use it in specific battles, enhancements and everything, some of the doctors at the hospital, they practice ninjutsu, healing arts and all that kind of stuff. And Izuku saying, so if I don't have a quirk, what, what do I have? Well, you possess something greater. You possess the running on, the doctor said. And how the doctors have not noticed, well, how the doctor have like information on the running on? Well, he doesn't. He just knows what it is and he says it's a great, well, it's basically divinity. It puts you at top tier. Learning specific traits. I guess somebody else can explain it to you better. I know your mother can. And she nodded at the doctor saying, I guess I can explain that to my son. I have a few like information or knowledge about the Renegon. Well, uh, she didn't quite n like the Renegon because the Renegon is something that doesn't implement happiness. Like it, well, if you look in the series that the Renegon was used, the Renegon was used for nothing but pure evil until Sasuke has it and Sasuke uses it for hit good. He doesn't use it for evil, but he uses it for good. And if you know the knowledge based on the Renegon, it's not used for nothing but pure evil. And given the fact that previous users in this world were using it for their own evil intent, she was afraid that her son would be subjected to these evil encounters. So she was going to do her best to push him to, away from that, but she really didn't much care due to the fact that Izuku it was giving off such heroism, such emanating power, sorry about that, but he was giving off this such good energy about himself and everything. And the doctor even told them, she said, your son might be one of the few that can possess and activate his chakra, possibly using that in come, upcoming battles due to his eyes having reacted like that. Because as soon as the doctor were to train him, Zuku got so excited that his eyes just turned straight into the running gun. And that's how they're going to stay for as long as Izuku knows, because now Izuku's just a child right now. And so they're leaving the hospital and they're going back, well, the clinic, whatever you want to call it, hospital or clinic. And as they get home, Izuku's not unhappy. He's not crying or anything, but he asks his mother. He asks his mother, well, he confronts his mother and says, Mom, so what kind of power do I have? And his mother goes on to explain that the Rinnegan is a great power that once upon a time the Sage of the Six Paths had in his control. So he had this power and the Sage of the Six Paths used it for good. But so many people who've had these eyes have only seek to use it for bad. Right now, in this time, in this era, many of those people are now dead and gone. And such as the age of chakra usage was forgotten. There are only few people that I know that can still use chakra while I'm not going to state those names yet, but you will learn in the series as it progresses. But as his mother goes to tell Izuku about this, Izuku says, so my eyes, my eyes are very gifted, I guess. And his mother goes to say, you have very gifted eyes, very strong eyes. And I doubt that learning anything new would be a surprise to you, Izuku. Like 
I think that you could pick up anything in such a short amount of time with the eyes that you possess. And then she goes to explain to Izuku, when you're older, I'll kindly tell you like the abilities of your dojutsu, meaning your eyes, later. But for now, just kindly live the life that you got right now, Izuku. And by the time you reach, let's say, by the time you reach middle school is where I'll start teaching you about the abilities and powers that you possess with these eyes. So we're in an elementary school right now. Say, for example, we're on a playground that's out of my imagination, but we're on a playground. And Izuku, well, Deku, Kachan, and his friends, Izuku's running behind Kachan. And Kachan just goes to stop. And he looks at Izuku and he says, something's different. This is Kachan when he's a kid. And he sees that Izuku, your, your eyes are not the same as they were before. I guess they change, and Izuku goes to say, oh yeah, I don't have a quirk, but I do have these awesome eyes that came with some kind of gifted power that I was enchanted with, I guess, and Kachan says, oh, so you're just a quirkless loser. Ah, your quirk will never be better than mine, as Kachan goes to show Deku his quirk as, as an explosion starts to happen in his hand. And after that, you already know the little bickering between those two, so we're going to fast forward to the point when Izuku was in high school, not high school, middle school, and as both of them are talking to each other, Izuku has a book that he written all the heroes' names, abilities, powers, skill traits, and all that kind of stuff in it, and he goes to tell the whole class as every class in there saying, Bakugo, so you're going to be joining UA High School, and Bakugo just says, yeah, and I'm going to be the number one hero. I'm going to be the best that ever was. I'm going to be the best. I'm going to be All Might. You're going to beat All Might? You're damn right I am. Oh, very good. And Izuku says, well, I'm going to join UA High School too. And everybody in the class just erupts with laughter. They say, how can a quirkless idiot like you become anything in uh, UA High School? You're going to get killed. And Izuku says, well, I can still try. And Kachan just walks over to his Izuku and slams his hand on Izuku's desk. And Izuku just erupts and feel like, ah! And Kajan says, a quirk is just give up on being a hero. Just give up on going to UA High School. You don't have a quirk. You're just going to get yourself killed. And Deku, he goes to Kachan and says, well, I, I don't have a quirk. You're right about that, Kachan. But I do believe I, I, I do believe I can still try. Kachan then grabs Izuku's book, lights it on the fire, and throws it out the window. And Izuku just saying, why did you do that? Why did you do that? And as Izuku, he, the class is over with, he walks outside of the class and he sees his book. He instantly picks it up and just douses it off with water saying that oh, it's not all completely destroyed. I guess I can rewrite some of the stuff in it. Oh, oh Kachan, why do you have to be such a jerk sometimes? And Eku instantly just walks off and he walks in this tunnel. He walks in this tunnel and instantly the sludge villain... Because as Deku's walking, he says, I will become a hero. I'll be just like All Might someday. And Deku's just lifting his fist up in the air and just screaming, Oh, ha, 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 as he does that little All Might laugh. And he's instantly attacked by the sludge villain as Deku's trying to get free. Deku's trying to get free and everything, but he has no hope as the sludge villain is entering his body saying that, Yes, this will be a nice vessel for me. I will take over your body and your heart, soul, and I will hide from that bastard All Might. And as Deku, he has no other defense. He has no arsenal in his, like, he, he, he thinks he doesn't have power. That's what Deku thinks. He thinks that he doesn't have power to defeat the sludge villain as he's trying to escape. But something just happens. All Might shows up and starts to say his chant and says, I am here. And Deku, before Deku could do anything, All Might punches at the sludge villain and it disperses destroyed goes everywhere and all might captures it and bottles it up and all might acts um deku acts izuku no deku acts all might for his autograph knowing that all might already signed his notebook and everything and as all might is getting ready to say well bye citizen and jumps off deku clings to all might's leg saying i have a few questions that i want to ask you and all might's trying to push izuku off of his leg but it wasn't working so 
due to the fact that Izuku said if you push me off, I could die from this height and All Might saying, oh yeah, you're right. Sorry about that. And they land on this roof and All Might's thinking in his head, shoot, the timer's almost out. And Deku goes to ask All Might, hey All Might, you think I could become a hero even without a quirk? As Deku just lifts his head down and he says, well, I, I, I know I have these gifted eyes. And All Might looks at Izuku and says, oh shit, wait, shit, that's the Rinnegan. He has those kind of eyes? And All Might instantly knew what this was and the power that those eyes possessed. And All Might was thinking to himself, before he could say anything else, his timer went poof and he turned to the Small Might. And Deku screamed knowing that, where did All Might go? Where did All Might go? And All Might, <laughs> he kindly explained Deku, explained to Deku his story and says that he had a fight with a villain that severely damaged him and now he can only sustain his buff form for an hour. And Instead of All Might saying no like in the original canon, he would go to say, I think you can become a hero, young Midoriya, with enough training and enough strategy and enough... If someone believes in you, you can become a hero with the eyes that you possess. And Deku's eyes widen. You know about my eyes? Yes, I do, young Midoriya. As they were on the roof, All Might didn't feel the need to like talk quietly. He said, your eyes have specific abilities. You possess the Rinnegan. Hmm. I think you would become a substantial hero. And Deku was happy to hear that. Even from his hero, he was happy to hear what All Might had said to him. Deku then bows to All Might, saying, Thank you, thank you, All Might. You don't know what this means to me. You you just made my day. You just made my dream. Because I, I, I thought I couldn't become a hero. I, I thought I was useless. I thought I was just going to lose out on my hopes and dreams. And... You just made all that possible for me, so I thank you. Thank you, All Might. And Deku does his little bow before running off, before All Might had a chance to say anything, saying, young, young man, before you... Ah, oh, he's gone. Oh, I hope I see him again. He really does have extraordinary abilities. I'm shocked that no one told him about that, as All Might says in his head. And Izuku's just walking as he hears an explosion, and he hears people screaming, and he runs and sees that Bakugo is captured by the sludge villain. He also sees that it's a bunch of pro heroes there, but their attempts to try to save Bakugo were futile. They couldn't do anything to save Bakugo. And Deku, he feels his knees shaking. He feels his heart trembling. He feels a fear because that was the same monster that just attacked him. That was the same villain that just attacked him and, and All Might saved him from it. He says, this is my fault. If I didn't cling on to All Might and make him drop the bottles that he had, this villain would have been captured and took into jail, uh, like taken to jail. Why did I have to be so stupid? Why did I have to turn into such of a fanboy? This just infuriates me. And Deku just runs like his body just moved. And All Might was there standing in the crowd like All Might was thinking in his head, Shh, crap, I can't do anything. What can I do? Like, why is this happening? I can't do anything. Come on. Get some courage, All Might. And as before he could think to move, Deku just runs in front of everybody. His body's just moved. And Deku runs at Kachan, clawing at the like, clawing at the sludge villain. And he's trying to release Kachan from it. And Kachan says, Deku, what are you doing? Trying to like break free of the sludge villain. And the sludge villain instantly sees that Deku is trying to like break Kachan out and he telling Deku that it's no use. It's the brat from earlier. You know, I would have taken your body if it wasn't for that bastard All Might. And he says, goes on further to say that this body will do much better as I will use it to kill you. And Deku senses a bit of anger in his body and something in his mind just tells him, lift up your hand and yell out. As Deku he lifted up his hand and the words that fluttered through his mind came into view. They came out of his mouth and all Deku said as he lifted up his hand and gave the sludge villain a monstrous glare. And he said, Shinra Tensei. And the sludge villain was blown back, like blown off of Kachan with such force and speed that Kachan had to just like place his footing so he couldn't be blown back at the such of the shockwave that Deku just Im implemented. And as Kachan was released from the sludge villain, everybody was shocked. 
And that's where I'm going to end off this part of the What If series. Let me know if you guys like this because I was kind of doing my own thing with it. Going off of pure thought and I'm glad the route that I took with this What If. And also I want to go on further to say that I want to basically get into telling you guys about the ancient being Kaguya. And what I wanted to explain about that one is Kaguya is this being in this My Hero Academia verse that... She ate the fruit, she released chakra, and once upon a time there were these specific individuals that used chakra and grew strong, but all of them are deceased, and it's only a select few people in this What If series that can access chakra, such as you already know that All Might's familiar with the Rinnegan and its abilities and what it can do, so you know that All Might's one of the users of chakra. And since his mother has somewhat similarity of the abilities, she's a user of chakra. So there's going to be specific people that I choose that I know that can be substantial to the areas of chakra and that could further support Deku's growth in the series. And this is where I wanted to leave it off. Let me know in Discord whatever you like, whatever I missed out on or what should I do in a part two of this series. And also let me know in the Discord what you guys want to see, what you guys mostly like want me to do. I know you've been suggesting me things like, like, what if Deku had, let's say, juggernaut strength? Or what if Deku, or Deku X Momo, or Deku X Ochaku? Deku X Ochaku and Deku X Momo. What the fuck does that mean? I do not know what that means. So can you kindly, kindly explain to me, like, what the hell does Deku X Ochaku mean? Because you're, you guys are asking me for this, and... I really don't know what it means. I don't know really what, what you want me to do with that with that information. So without any further ado, you guys have a good night, good day. I love all the support and thanks for watching.